Hello and welcome viewers. In this video, I'm going to cover some commands that help you to check scheduled tasks as well as your shared files. And most of the time you share any folder and just you want to check that how many user at the real time using that file have accessed the file. So we have some commands through you can easily monitor the status that how many user at the real time are accessing that specific file. So let's move to the Windows environment. Now here let's run the CMD with the administrator privilege as you know. So here on the command prompt, the first command we're going to show here is check NTFS. So what's new in it? Most of the time you use the command chkdsk to check this and it is very helpful and used so many times and most of the IT personnel are known to that command. But there is another command where you're just changing this dsk to ntfs. So actually this command checks this file system, the ntfs file system. So the command is chk ntfs and enter. So here the thing you need to add after this command, because in the chkdsk, you mostly provide the drive letter. So in the same way, you have to provide the drive letter, and this time it would be C for the testing purpose. And here you can see chk ntfs space C colon. So it is telling that this ntfs file system is correct, and it's not dirty. So the dirty means that it is working correctly and there is no any sort of issue and error regarding this file system on the C. So how you can see that here, how this output really helping you to totally judge the system file and also you are monitoring and getting output about the status of the disk. Now after that we have another command and this command really helps you to open the control panel. So if you want to open your control panel from the command line, so you should type control and press enter. So what it will do, it will open the control panel on your GUI. So most of the time, if you are using command line and you have to do something in a quick way and you want to launch your control panel, so just type control in the command line and it will display the control panel in an instant. And most of the time there are a lot of tools we have in the windows in the GUI environment in the control panel. So we have to access the control panel to fix those things, even to show, to view such sort of options. So for that purpose, you can simply type control in the command line and it will open the control panel. Now the command is schedule task and this command does what it helps you to see and check and monitor all the tasks that had been scheduled in your Windows operating system. And here you can see there are plenty of tasks here that are already scheduled in your Windows environment. And if you want to see those tasks in your GUI, so you have to go to the computer management and here if you click to the task scheduler, so it's going to display all the tasks here. But if you want to see all the tasks in the command line, so you should type the command schedule task. And what if you want to create a separate file where you want to export all the scheduled tasks. So you would write schedule task greater than sign and then name anything to that file and press enter. So it will export all the tasks to, to that directory directory so you can access that file and you will get all the list of the scheduled tasks in a separate file. So that's the best thing it is offering in the command line that you can easily export the list of all the scheduled tasks in a separate file. We have another command VER and as the name suggests as the short form suggests the version command and it will tell you that which Microsoft version is currently running in your machine. So you can easily in an instant find out that which version is installed and deployed in your Windows, in your currently in your machine. So you 
you should type VER to find out that specific version of your operating system. Now the last command of this video is open files. When you run this command, so this command will tell you the current sharing. Let's say for example, you created a folder and shared within your local network, right? And you want to see that how many users are currently using that file, right? How many persons right now are accessing to that directory. So for that, you can simply type open files and it will provide you the data and the user, which are the number of user who are using that file currently in that output. So this command helps you to find out and track where your files are going and how many user at the real time accessing your files on the network. So these are the five commands we want to show in this video and I hope you learn and you understand those commands and if you're encountering any error while executing those commands so do comment, do mention the comment section so we will reply and respond to you accordingly also don't forget to subscribe our channel please subscribe our channel and like our video and press the bell icon and also subscribe to the playlist of this cmd videos so you can watch the previous cmd videos that we created before that contain the most important and most useful commands so that's it for this video thanks for watching